So Bun version 1.0 is finally here. And it's not only that, now it has actually its own package manager that is an overkill and completely destroys every single other package manager from like npm, pmpm, or yarn. Yes, you heard it right. I was literally surprised the same way you did when I first heard about Bun version 1.0, but it's really, really fast, like fast by miles. So let's jump and actually benchmark Bun versus every single other package manager and see why Bun is actually fast compared to the other package managers and whether you should use it or not. So it's been like almost a year now since the initial release of Bun and the announcement and everything. And after a year or a year or so, here we go. We are with the Bun 1.0, the official stable release of the version one of Bun. Yes, and everything you basically need to know about, you can actually find this blog post in here, has been released yesterday on September 8th in here, if you if you wanna like look into this one. But in today's video, we're gonna be more particularly focusing on the ending, the package managers debate. You know, we have a couple of package managers from like NPM Yarn, PMPM, which came out lately and it's been super quick and fast. And now we have actually Bun. Bun is not just a Node.js replacement, it's literally everything replacement. And he includes, behind the scenes, he includes a very, very powerful and super fast package manager. So we're gonna see how Bun is gonna do benchmarking it or comparing it to other package managers we already have, like npm, yarn, pmpm, and see exactly if it's worth to use that package manager or not. Of course, before we get started, you need to make sure that you have Bun 1.0 in here, the latest version. If you don't have that, or if you have older version, you can do Bun upgrade, or you can just install that from scratch using npm brew, docker if you want, or CRL. But I would go for brew because I'm on macOS, so you can do that as well. And for the Bun release in here, there's been so many changes. Now, Bun is more of like a Node.js replacement, is a transpiler, so you don't need like Babel, like Babel RC or TypeScript or TSC, like the TypeScript compiler. Everything is included inside of Bun right now, so those transpilers, you don't need them anymore. For bundlers, you don't need the bundler anymore because Bun includes its own bundler that works seamlessly with everything that is inside. So no need for like Webpack, ESBuild, Parcel, Rollup, and those kind of bundlers, as well as including package managers. And this is actually what we're gonna be talking about and actually looking at. So these are available current package managers in here and Bun claiming in here on the website that you can basically replace everything and it's actually quite faster, a lot faster as well as actually gonna be taken as a testing library, like literally a testing library, so you don't need Jest or TypeScript Jest in here or VTest or whatever in here. There is its own testing like suits and toolkit inside of Bun itself. So first things first, to actually be able to compare Bun to the other ones like NPM, Yarn, and PMPM, let's start with the official benchmark that is provided by Bun itself. Like if you go to the Bun repository inside of GitHub in here, you go inside of the bench folder in here, which has all the benchmarks, not only that, like benchmarks for the bundler, uh, the gzip in here, so much more. But we wanna look at the install. This is because this is like literally the benchmark for the package manager. And here it has like a simple Remax sort of application in here like a front end application and you can actually run the benchmark using hyperfine so hyperfine is just like a command line tool that allows you to benchmark you know clis or basically programs or processes and it tells you exactly how long it took in like a mean time sort of thing you can compare or run many commands it literally is super nice tool uh, it has so many stars in here i've used it before it really is super quick and actually very very reliable so here they claiming you can use hyperfine to basically run the benchmark in here for everything from like starting with bone install then npm install or sorry pmpm install yarn and npm install and this actually will give you a result of like which one of these commands is, is faster compared to the others and how long each one did take to run and complete. Okay, so I already cloned that one. So let's go ahead and jump right into that one. So before we can get started and actually start the benchmarking, really good that you go through and actually try this on a completely empty kind of system that has no caching, nothing at all. So I'm gonna literally just go ahead and delete the npm cache, the yarn cache in here, and I'm gonna go also delete the pmpm cache and the bun cache. 
This way we can have like a fair comparison. Everything is going to start from a cold start. Everything's going to be pulling down from a network, no caching whatsoever. So no kind of like package manager is going to have an advantage over the others. And there you go. So here I cleaned the NPM cache in here for the first command, second command, cleaned the yarn cache, PMPM, I literally go th went through and actually found the PMPM store and I completely did remove RF for removing the store as the same thing, I removed the bun cache. So now we can start completely from scratch for all package managers. All right, cool. So I'm going to use the same command. I'm going to use hyperfine. You can easily install that or any system, Linux, Mac OS, or basically Windows. So I copy the same command in here for like, you know, here for the prepare, it's just going to run a preparation command, like before every pretty much like here, because we're running literally like four commands, like bun install, then pm install, then yarn, then npm install. So before it runs or jumps from one command to the other, it has to do this preparation. So it deletes the node modules. So that makes sure is that, or, you know, every single one is going to ha completely have no, no node modules whatsoever. So it can start from scratch. It's going to do some warm up in here for like one warm up. And the runs in here is going to do three runs for each command. And literally the reason for doing that is actually just to make sure you get the mean time or get like the best one. So you can get an average between three, like the three runs in here for each command. So you can have the best one. Okay. So I was going to get started. I click run. Of course, this will take quite some time for everything basically because we completely delete the cache. There's no caching whatsoever. So we got to wait a couple of like maybe um, a minute or two or a couple of minutes to get this one sorted out. Now the benchmarking is done for everything from, you know, bun, yarn, NPM and PMPM. And there's actually the summary of the results. So bun install in here did run uh, like eight times faster than yarn, 8.96 times faster than NPM install and 10 times faster than PMPM. I mean, the weird part on the, about this one that I found is like BMPM is already fast. I don't know how or why for this particular benchmark it's given me. I tried actually a couple of times, but for this particular benchmark, it's given me that NPM and yarn are faster than PMPM for some sort of reason. I don't know. I really don't know what it is, but most of the times, like 90% of the times you're going to find PMPM faster. Maybe there is an outlier or something wrong in this particular case, but in general, bun is literally the fastest among all of these. It's actually super, super fast. And if you look closely into the results of the actual bun install, running it like three times in here, this is actually the, the mean time and this is actually the range of between the minimum and the maximum. So mean time is like 440 milliseconds, literally 440 milliseconds to install everything. If you look at the others, like PMPM in here has five seconds and more. If you look at yarn in here has 380, 88 seconds and npm in here is like 424 seconds so bun wins with a huge lead now the second benchmark or the second test i want to put you know bun and the other package managers into is going through an actual real world application. So this one is called the servicing app, which is a React application like React dashboard for managing like different services where like a plumber or maybe a carpenter or something like that can actually post some services or like, you know, a developer, you can post services. It's more of like a free work or sorry, Upwork or freelance.com sort of clone application built in react has a lot of components like tons of thousands of components in here uh, it has like containers so it's like a full ready production ready application in here that has a package.json in here and if you look at the dependencies real quickly has too many scripts in here and dependency has tons and tons of dependencies in here like a lot of dependencies for everything in here so we're going to try to run actually all the package managers and try to install those from a cold start and actually see how it goes so again, I went through and actually deleted everything. I deleted all the caches for every single package manager. So we're starting from a cold start. There is no node modules in here. There's no lock files as we did before. There is literally only the pack.json. So it's literally like, like, you know, a fresh project that has only a pack.json, no lock files for any package manager whatsoever. So this will allow us to start literally from scratch and actually put the, all of them into the real test. So I'm literally going to run the same command in here for running or removing the modules every single time, warming up one time and running three installs for each command. And for the results, 
uh, there were as expected. So here for the bun install, it took actually a little longer compared to the previous one because now it's actually a lot more of a bigger project. It's like a fully fleshed project. So we took around like, you know, two seconds in here for the meantime for, you know, running the three runs in here for like the bun install uh, for PM PM in here. It took 15 seconds, like literally 15 seconds. That's crazy comparing it to bun two seconds to 15 seconds for running that one actually install dependencies. Now we start with yarn in here. So yarn is like 21 seconds and NPM install is 29 seconds. And of course the summer in here, bun actually run like six times faster than PMPM, nine times faster than yarn and like almost 13 times faster compared to like NPM install. That is just mind blowing. As I told you before, I didn't believe when he saw the actual benchmarks on Twitter and people posting videos and tweets about it and you know, get going nuts about how fast bun is. But now I do believe that. Now the last test I want to put into bun and only PMPM PM for now, because you know, PMPM PM is faster than yarn and NPM by miles as well. So I only want to compare bun and PMPM PM because you know, fast versus another fast or very fast package manager. And actually you see the results. And now I want to put them into the test by using the create next up. So I want to just try to actually use the create next up and see how fast they can do when they try to scaffold and actually create a new project from scratch for a next JS application. So excuse in here on the next JS documentation, it already went through and actually supported the bun. So now it uses bun X, which is the same thing as like MPX or PMPM create and yarn create. So you just do bun X, you can do create next up in here and you can just use the interactive terminal. So first I'm going to try it out without the cache. I'm going to go through and delete bun cache in here. So remove RF, the bun install cache. And also I want to make sure I delete the PMPM store or basically the PMPM cache. All right, awesome. Now let's jump back in here and I'm going to use the command again. So I'm going to do bun X create next up in here and I'm going to name this bun next years. And the same thing in here on the right hand side, I'm going to do uh, PMPM create next up in here and I'm going to name this um, PMPM next years. Okay, so I'm going to start here It's going to give me like an interactive terminal. So I'm going to it's going to ask me a couple of questions like Oh, TypeScript, ESLint, yes, Tailwind, yes, no, SRC directory, yes, app router. And this is literally the last question. So before I can hit submit, let me just go ahead and do the same thing in here. So I can hit submit on both terminals at the same time. And actually, I want to compare them differently. I don't want to use like hyperfine or like a benchmarking tool as I did before. I want to just like run them side by side in here without cache and see which one actually, you know, it finishes the first. Okay, so I'm going to start the command in here. Yes, TypeScript, yes, lane, tailwind, um, no SRC directory, up router, and we are in here. Awesome. So I'm going to go to the PMPM terminal first, I'm going to click enter and enter in here and see what they can do. Okay. And there you go. So now what they like what happened in here, bun install like finished like, I don't know, three seconds you know, quicker before the actual PMPM just like finished. So that wasn't a huge deal because literally they started from a cold cache. So that means no cache at all for both of them in here. And they did actually a pretty good job. So in here, like it took a minute and 43 seconds, the same thing in here, almost like a minute, maybe and and like 35 seconds. So they were basically a lot similar. Now what I want to actually do again is actually remove the folders and actually try with caching because now we already did the install. So that means they have both put some cache in. they have already cached all the packages in here. So I'm going to just rerun the kind of like commands for the install commands and see how fast they goes with caching. So remove bun next.js and I'm going to also remove the npm next.js and do again in here npm create next.js application. So yes, yes, then tailwind up router. Okay. And the same thing goes for bun x. Okay, so yes, 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 uh, up router, and I'm going to start npm or bmpm again, as well. So enter, enter. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it literally like, okay, the bun did finish in like 284 milliseconds, like even before you can actually notice that it was super quick, like super duper quick. And PMPM is still struggling to check integrity and stuff like that. Now I think 
as far as I read online on, on like GitHub discussions and stuff like that, like PMPM does some like, you know, it checks for the integrity of the actual packages. So it does some security checks in here. It actually tells you that like, if you read the logs carefully, but bun, it doesn't do that. So it doesn't check the integrity of the packages, it just tries to install the packages as quick as it possibly could. Now, this is quite good and bad. Now, checking integrity is, is a good thing to do, but it's not always a good thing to do. So I'm not sure if, if there is like a, I don't know, like a command or like a, a config you can turn on and off on bun to check integrity or not. The same thing for PMPM, I guess there would be for PMPM, but you got the point basically of what's happening here, why bun is super fast and how everything actually works. Now, another reason why Bun is actually super, super, super fast, as I read online in their documentation, like it does use some fast copying. So unlike stuff like Linux or Mac OS in here, for example, Linux uses hard links to as quickly as fastly as to copy the packages from the cache into the node modules of that project. For Mac OS in here, it uses the clone file kind of function, which says like on Mac OS or Apple systems, it's super quick. As well as like, if you notice on the projects you install or use bun to install dependencies on, you're gonna find a new log file that's called bun.lockb. You can't see anything literally because this is a binary format sort of file. So it's not like the pack.json or pack.log that is a JSON or you know a YAML file as if you're in here or pmpm YAML, it's completely binary. That actually makes it one step faster because binary can be read instantaneously compared to JSON parsing and YAML parsing, but it's still not readable. So that's that's something to put an eye on as well. Now, when it comes to bun install, if you wanna know exactly how it works, does it have all the features and stuff like that? So anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and catch you hopefully in the next ones.